I woke up today with the absolute urge to clean my house. I'm talking full motivation, energy, all of it, which usually means I'm trying to uh, escape whatever I'm feeling. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take you along with me for as long as I can remember to carry around the tripod. And we will see how much I can get done. Alexa, shuffle mom's playlist. Shuffling your playlist, mom's playlist on Amazon Music. First, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for joining me on my first long form video. I was nervous to make this, but obviously very excited to see how it's going to go. But today I am starting out in my kitchen. The kitchen is in the center of my home. It's the first room you really see when you walk into the house. And so it is the room that drives me the craziest. I cannot stand for it to be messy. I can't stand for it to be cluttered up because I know it is such a focal point. So we're getting all of this straightened up first. This is kind of my domino chore. If I can start in here, then I'm able to get everything else done like I need to. It's a great starting point for me. I took down my 4th of July towels. And so I've got to put another one up. And I just, I'm just i still going with a little summery theme since, you know, we are still in July. Um, my oldest daughter actually has a birthday next week and then I have one the following week so we really like July around here. I'm using the soft cleanser from Barkeeper's Friend on my stovetop. This thing is messy all the time especially with kids home for the summer right now. They're laying things on it to cook other food. Things are coming out of the microwave and spilling so I really just wanted to give this a really good clean and Barkeeper's Friend will do that for you. I also wanted to clean underneath these gap fillers on each side of the stove. A year or two ago, I removed my stove and was horrified by what had fallen down into the cracks. So I picked these up from Amazon. They're really cheap. You can also cut them to size, so they're great. They're a rubber material. So I did pick those up, cleaned underneath them, and then this table is the bane of my existence. As you can see from the window right there, that's my front porch. So when you walk up to my house, you can see this table. When you walk in, like I said, the, you see this room first and this is the dumping zone. Do you have a dumping zone in your house? Because this one is mine. Everybody puts everything on this table and I can clean it and walk back in the room and there's stuff back on it and it literally drives me insane. I just, it's one of those things that no matter how much I try, I cannot get it under control. There are three little girls who will throw all their stuff on there. I'm bad about it when I walk in the house, toss the mail down or whatever. I have to find a better system. If you have any suggestions, please leave those for me because I'm not kidding when I say this is my, this is the bane of my home existence. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is my first long form video. I'm trying my best to do the music and the voiceovers without boring you. A few years ago for Christmas, I asked for these in my stocking. They're little teaspoons and I use these in my coffee in the mornings, but got a little guitar, little G clef, but they remind me of my dad. So it makes me happy when I get to use them. But I would love your feedback in the comments. Don't be rude about it. That's not necessary. But you know, we can all use some constructive criticism. And I'm happy to take that. So if you have any advice, if you have any feedback, I would absolutely love to hear it.
I've been using my Dyson more often downstairs than I usually do. I usually use a Shark Stratus that's cordless and I love my Shark, but my daughter had commandeered it for her bedroom and I really just didn't want to go upstairs to get it. So I'm using my Dyson and I do have it, I'm alternating between the medium and the boost options and I was actually pretty surprised. However, I do feel like for the price, the Dyson almost feels a little flimsy, especially with the heads. They just, I don't know, they're not as steady as I would like them to be. I know people love Dysons. They feel very, very strongly about their Dysons. However, I may be more of a shark person. I moved on to my living room. My kids have been hanging out here a lot in the summertime watching television at night and whatnot. They're not that great about picking up after themselves after I go to bed. So I'm picking up the blanket my daughter likes to use. For some reason, there is just one crock in the living room. I had picked up the other one out of the kitchen earlier. So I'm just picking up bits and pieces, going back in with my Dyson to vacuum this rug. This is a very shaggy rug. It is so hard to vacuum. And no matter how many times I vacuum it, there will always be something that comes up. I would love to be able to flip it and vacuum it regularly. However, I would have to move my couch to do that, and that can be kind of a pain, so that is definitely not an every time I vacuum kind of thing. We have these built-ins on either side of the living room, so I'm just going in to dust those. I can't quite figure out how I want these decorated. We've been here for seven years, and I'm still trying to decide the way that I like them. And of course, by the time I decide where I want to put something, my style may change a little bit, and then it ends up getting moved anyways. The bottom side of this one holds just kind of miscellaneous things. There's the fireplace uh, section over there. My daughter usually ends up with a puzzle over there. I would, I wish the bottom of these had doors so that I could contain that a little bit better. For some reason, I seem to like the decorating better on this side of the built-ins. I don't know why. It's not specific pieces. Maybe it's less cluttered. I'm not really sure, but I always tend to like this side a little better. This is probably my favorite space in my house. I love the table. I love the things on it. I adore the mirror. A lot of this came from Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. Um, the little lamp is from Walmart. I think it's $12. I've got some Target pieces, but I just love this space. If you're not already washing your fruits and vegetables, please do so. I do use a fruit wash here, and the water afterwards is really just so gross. And I'd only let them sit for maybe 10 minutes, but please wash your fruits and vegetables. It's crazy what you get out of there. All right, I got laundry folded. So I've got towels, got some clothes in here, cleaning cloths, more cleaning cloths, hair towels, my bloom towels, makeup removing cloths. Uh, a sock that has lost its match, so it's somewhere, but then my youngest daughter loves long socks, and she will wear them to death, but she also pulls at the top, uh, so these are a little stretched out, which normally I don't care. The part I do care about, and I don't know if I can do this one-handed, is there's holes now in the bottoms, so I don't even know where the second one is, but we're going to get rid of this one, and then when the second one makes its way into the laundry, that one will be gone too. I love these baskets, these collapsible ones. You can actually hang it on a wall or behind a door if you need to. You can use them for so many things. Obviously, I'm using it for laundry. Love these. Got it from Amazon. 